Hi, I am Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I am a psychological counselor and a homeopathic doctor. I practice in Bangalore for the last 21 years and I have been in this profession for the last 31 years. I have two clinics, one in an HSR layout and one is in AECS layout. Child abuse. In all my years of counseling, I think this is the saddest topic. Um, I would not like to call it cruelest still because I still think I, am, I have a lot of hope for humanity. But this is the saddest topic because the scars it leaves on the child are humongous. And if somebody, one of the parents, both the parents, extended family doesn't work on it, these scars don't go. They become the manual, they become the, the compass of the child's life. And that is not something which any one of you would want for your child. God forbid, should am I talking to any parent whose child has had abuse. But still I would like to share three things here which according to me are most important. In one of my other lectures I had said that you must form a framework in which your child is able to come back to you and share with you his or her failures, his or her embarrassed moments. The problem with child abuse is that the small, little, delicate brain starts thinking that whatever happened to them was a fault of theirs. And this impression, if it is not rubbed off, it keeps on deepening to the point of creating almost a wedge in their personality. For every failure in their life, they start blaming themselves, which is a very bad place to be. So the first requirement, the first mandatory need and the mandatory duty of each parent is that you must be able to tell your child, come what may, I am there. A lot of times children don't confide in their parents because the person who's abused is a family member and very close family member. Child doesn't know how to speak. In that case, the second duty of the parent is please develop your radar. Do not ignore those little small things which you see are not correct. The child is not eating properly. The child doesn't want to go and visit a particular relative. The child is scared. He or she starts crying in the toilet, doesn't want to come anywhere near you, has started shunning touch, something which you think is very, very minuscule, very, very negligible. Please don't neglect it in a small child. Make sure that you do observe the child more and then ask the question. There's nothing wrong in it. And the third most important part is the parents must do preemptive, good and bad touch. There are a lot of educational videos, there are a lot of educational literature, there is a lot of methodology which has been evolved for teaching children this. Please take it and it's not about the girl child or the boy child. Every child is as delicate as a dewdrop. If we don't look after it, it can be damaged even by a look. Please make sure that you develop the skill sets where your child comes to you and talks to you, knows that hello high water, my parent has my back.